Hi everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. Last time we will talk about uh, the whole pictures behind the neural network or behind the TensorFlow neural network. And uh, this time we'll talk about how to, based on that understanding of the structure, this time we'll build the structure in code. So uh, in TensorFlow, basically you have to define all the pictures, all the structures before you put any data in it. I've uploaded the, the tutorial codes for you to practice, so you can find the link in my description if you like, you just download it and practice. Um, so we're going to do the example, just I will show you the results of this example. Uh, so just a moment. So this is what we're, what we are going to do in this tutorial. So basically, today we're going to predict a line or uh, all the parameters of this line that is uh, is just like this. Y data equals to the y, uh, x data times 0 0.1 and plus 0 0.3, this line. So uh, what is showing in here is that for every 20 steps, then we'll output the uh, 20 parameters. Uh, what is that parameter is that basically is this one, this is one parameter and this one is the another one. We call this one as weight and we call this one as bias. At the beginning of this training, all these two parameters, the weights and bias are the random numbers. And once we train a lot of times, uh, about 220 uh, steps, then this first weight becomes very close to uh, 0 0.1. So you see, this is 0 0.99, it's very close to 0 0.1, and the bias is very close to 0 0.3. So this is the final result of uh, the neural network or the machine learning, just to learn all the parameters to describe our predicting line. So we're just going to start our tutorials. Um, we have the, uh, the data that we just make up some data by using NumPy, a random and to run 100 100 samples of the data and as the shape of um, float 32 because in I should emphasize that in the TensorFlow right now all the calculating type are basically the float 20 uh, float 32 because if you use other formats or types the, the TensorFlow may not support that so make sure all your data are kept in this format and we we predict we're going to predict the uh, y data uh, equals to x data times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 and then the most important part of this tutorial is to create tensorflow structures so as you as you uh, as i mentioned before the structure is just like how the tensorflow flows into that structure that is the structure so we're going to define the weights that is equal to uh, tf dot variable. The variable you have to capitalize the uh, first letter of v. Then that is the all the all these two are the variables. So you have to define the variables for the weights where the step uh, weight is typically just this one and. Uh, we have to define the bias. The bias is this one over here. So let me finish. Random uni uniform random uniform one and minus one point zero to one point zero. And this is to say. I initialize this weights or initialize this parameter by using the random uniform distribution that generates auto automatically generates uh, one parameter, one uh, one values uh, that's between the range of negative one to the positive one in this range. So, for example, I can I could generate by like uh, 0.2 or or negative 0.2 like this one 
and the bias. The bias is this one over here. It's also tf dot variable and tf dot zeros. We generate the bias uh, as zero, so it's one, the one position, one location for 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 this one. And once we generate these two, we are going to build this structure. How the weights and bios being calculated? So the weights uh, times x data pl plus the bias. So this is our predicted y. The predicted y is equal to the uh, the, the initial weights times the x data and and plus the bio, initial bias. This initial y could very uh, it's not accurate to describe the, the y data, but once we are going to training these structures, then the, the, the predicted y could very accurate, could be very accurate. And how to train that? We are going to compare this predicted value with this real value and compare the difference between them or the error between them we call this one is loss the error is loss then uh, that is to uh, how to calculate that we're going to use this one this line tf dot square y minus y data so that is to say uh, I'm going to calculate the square error of my predicting value and the real value, value and to, 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 uh, to get the mean value of all data points because we have 100 samples, we get the mean value of those 100 samples. And next step is to use one optimizer to optimize this to minimize this loss optimizer but now we choose trend dot the percent optimizer and we put 0 0.5 this one is the learning rate how much you you, you could learn uh, typically this learning rate is the number that's uh, smaller than one so I just try uh, 0 0.5 in here you can try other value that's smaller than one and trend the trend step is the trend to use the optimizer optimizer to use the optimizer to minimize the loss so we, we have the loss, right? We have the error between these two. So we, we use the optimizer to minimize this error. And next time, uh, the weights and bios are being improved to more close to the real uh, weights, to, to more close to 0 0.1 or 0 0.3. So that is the idea of that. And also, we should uh, going to initial initialize uh, all variables. This one is very important. I make notes. Important. This one is very important. Lots of beginner will always forget to initialize these all variables. So it's to say once you have defined any variables in your code or in your tensorflow structures you have to initialize all variables in in, in this step so this is all structures that we built for the tensorflow uh, structure and just ignore this one um, and we're going to define a C session and this one is also very important for beginners so so if you define session just make sure the s is capitalized and once you define the session the session actually is just like a pointer if you use the session point to your uh, for example point to my y they will run the the, the parts 
that to calculate the y only around this part. And if you use the session points to the, the loss, for example, they will only calculate the loss for you. Uh, they will ignore the last of the, the steps. So the session is just like the pointer to point to the uh, the structures that you already that you already build up. So we are use the session that round to point to this uh, the the typical points in your picture, and this one is to point to the initial. So once you define all the structures, it's just like uh, it's just like a statics structures they are not doing anything once you use the session to point to or run a typical part then the structure will be uh, activates we can say activates and uh, put the information or data into this picture and run this picture so the first step is to run the initial this is the operation run this one and then once we have uh, activate all this data, initialize all this data by running this, then we could, then we could uh, leave more space. We could train these structures, uh, train these structures 201 times. So how to train that is also use the uh, session that run to run that typical uh, operation we call it operation the trend is one operation I'm going to run this trend and by doing this all these structures uh, be activated and we can uh, uh, use the op optimizer to minimize this loss so every step is to minimize this loss once so if we minimize 201 times this result could be more accurate and for every for every uh, 20 steps for every 20 steps we're going to print print the results of that step we're going to print the step first and going to print session that run you see here we I need to use the session that run to run my weights to get my weights uh, value in here and also if you directly print out the the weights uh, without the session that run then the, the, this is not the weight the, the value of the weight is another object something else so uh, if I want to uh, pr pr print if I'm going to print the bias I also need to run uh, session around the bias then I will get the value from the bias so let me try it out yeah that's right so the initial step of the uh, the, the weights and bias uh, is not that accurate but once we training step by step the, the weights are going to uh, in decrease to 0 0.1 very close to 0 0.1 and the bias uh, increase to 0 0.3 so this is very close to these two uh, parameters coefficients so this is uh, the main idea of tensorflow and today we built the structure first and initial the variables and then to run the training operation to train all the uh, parameters or coefficients of weights and bias and then for 20 steps we we print out the result of training the the, the weights what is the weight value what is the bias then as you can see from these pictures uh, this is how the tensorflow optimize or minimize the loss or the tensorflow optimize the, the weights and bias to become more close to our real data. So this is for today and next time we're going to talk about um, the session over here, how to use the session or we have 
typically two methods to use the session. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I will take a look and uh, answer it. Uh, I hope you like my video. If you if you want to know more TensorFlow or machine learning uh, technique, you can subscribe to my channel. Hope you can learn more. <laughs> uh, so see you next time. Bye.